this is in connection with the recent uh, picture of Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. The sorry state that she looked, limping, and uh, appearing in a place like a place like looked like a hospital. Uh, we have to say pole for any sickness of anybody. First and foremost, let us try, leave alone politics, leave alone religion, leave alone anything. Uh, the Bible tells us, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto the Lord what is the Lord's. Uh, you remember the issue of Neno Evangelist, where they had a church uh, on the railway, uh, property and when they were asked they quoted God but the same God the same Jesus said give you give unto uh, give unto God what is God's and give unto Caesar what is Caesar's Caesar has a policy on land whether you are a church or not or a social hall or a hospital or even a school there is a, a land policy that should be followed to the letter. You may offer essential services, medical, education, entertainment, social hall, or even religious issues. But please let, let it follow the due process of Caesar. Uh, from where I am, I do not know the correct position. She may be completely right or she may be completely wrong or somewhere there in the middle. So let us establish what is happening and let us establish has the government ever tried to or even the Kenya Railway, have they tried to tell her that uh, there is this and that they want to do or did they just storm there from where i am i'm not in a position to authoritatively answer that so let us establish that and then when we have established uh then we can come and uh, follow caesar's edit she said that uh, she spent a lot in the election of Kenya Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza uh, government. Now, if she spent a lot on Kenya Kwanza government, and she expects favorable treatment, that is bad. It is even unbiblical. It is even unbiblical because you spend a lot. on a coalition that you believe that is good for the country. Spend a lot, and a lot is, uh, because a poor man spending a thousand shillings and a rich man spending 10 million shillings, the poor man has spent a lot. So if she spent a lot for anybody to be an MCA, or any of the six positions, including the government, she should have spent that in the true knowledge that this is the best candidate, the best party, or the best coalition. In every election circle, for as long as I can remember, rich people have spent money on coalitions or candidates with the belief that once the government or the candidate takes over, then there is payback in favorable ways than one. That one is an unfair. If you really believe that this candidate or this coalition or this party is good, please spend money on that belief. Not that when they have when they have taken over they give you preferential treatment that is bad 
Furthermore, Kenya's election is through secret ballot. How sure are you that I voted for you? How sure are you that I voted for your opponent? How sure are you that my ballot was not spoiled? How sure are you that I left the ballot uh, blank? The ballot is secret and there is no way of knowing. I remember one time when elections had been done and a candidate got two votes and uh, he had three wives plus himself. So he was wondering, he called his wives to a meeting and said, uh, I voted for myself, then two of you must have. But uh, you never know, even you as a candidate, you can mark it through excitement or whatever, and it becomes a rejected vote. It becomes a rejected vote. So balloting, it's only God who knows who voted for who. So you cannot say that I, I campaigned for you, and uh, then you should give me uh, treatment over somebody else. And then, let me be very sincere. There is a saying that you don't preach to the converted. So if you elect me and find that I'm spending slightly more on people who are known not to be for me, on people, areas that are known that did not vote for me, kindly understand that even in the Bible, the farmer left his 99 cows to go and look for the one lost one. So elected leader, in Kenyan system, there is no way an elected leader can know who voted for him or against him. But even if he knew that these people, this person or people voted against me, uh, there is nothing wrong with him spending more attention on that person, on that person, on that area, because you do not preach to the converted. But uh, even having said that, we should even say that um, once a leader, be it even a village, a, a Nyumbakumi person, once a leader has been elected. He or she serves all the people in his or her jurisdiction equally. Equally. You don't choose an area or a person because so and so. Unless you are talking of personal staff, you cannot take uh, the campaign manager of your opponent to be your constituency manager for obvious reasons. One, he or she would spy for the other person. And uh, two, you want somebody who you had convinced in your manifesto and who will assist you too. But if it is somebody who campaigned for somebody else and he is your, he is your constituency manager, he may sabotage you from within. So the, 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 apart from those very personal, uh, personal stuff or something like that, any other service, be it buzzer, be it whatever, let all the people within your area of jurisdiction get it as per those who deserve it. The word should be deserve. Now, she has said that she spent a lot of money on campaigning for Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Well, this is her chronological things. She wanted to be uh, the governor of Nairobi. But then Kenya Kwanza settled for uh, Sakaja. Uh, when they settled for Sakaja, she was convinced to move over to a position of a senator. Uh, I want to give us an example on the other side that uh, Tim Wanyonyi wanted to be the governor of Nairobi but he was told that he would be the deputy governor to that cartoon. <laughs> we have even forgotten his name. Uh, 
Then he saw that instead of being deputy governor to that fellow, he decided to go back to Westlands and campaigned and became the MP for Westlands. So that thing happened across board, but uh, I would say that uh, Tim Wanyonyi, knowing that uh, he was not going to be governor or deputy governor, and he had uh, lost some time concentrating on the other seat, he went back to Westlands and campaigned fevered strongly until he got that seat. He campaigned and got that seat, and that is what Bishop Margaret should have done. If Margaret was to be in the position of... I've never heard Wanyonyi say that you see if I were to be... And, and truly speaking, Wanyonyi against Sakaja, most likely Wanyonyi would take it. But Wanyonyi has never gone back to the ODM. He has never gone back to Azimio and said, you see, I, I would have taken it. But you people, you gave it to a cartoonist and he took it. No, he never said that. He went back to Westlands and knew that he had delayed time spending campaigning on the other seat. So he now spent time campaigning for the MP. When Margaret was given was moved to senatorship, she lost interest. There were so many Facebook pages, there were so many WhatsApp groups that were made to campaign for her. And in many occasions, people would complain, even on WhatsApp. And some of us, me included, would even send her message on WhatsApp saying, what is happening? Imagine telling the people that, people talking on WhatsApp or even Facebook saying that uh, she has hidden herself somewhere. She had hidden herself somewhere. Why can't she go to the ground? And you see, when it comes to Facebook, you, 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 you answer the person who is asking the question, but you tag her alone. You say, I'm sure uh, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, who is a member of this, but you see, when you mention her name, she automatically gets that. I'm sure Bishop Margaret Wanjiru has, who is a member of this WhatsApp group or who is a, a member of this uh, Facebook page, has read your concern and I'm sure she will take action. She never took action. Actually, she never campaigned. It was like um, the other person uh, was just campaigning against himself. Uh, I happen to know Bishop Margaret Wanjiru one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I've met her several times, and the times I met her was I used to visit Mweshimiwa uh, Soita uh, Shitanda in his office, and uh, he would uh, stop what he was doing, and he would uh, go and introduce me to her. But on the corridor, as we are going to meet her, and on the corridor when we have left her, Soita Shitanda used to... Peter Soita Shitanda used to tell me that... Uh, uh, having her as his assistant minister was a blessing because she's a very hard working and she made his work as a minister for housing very enjoyable. And that is why, in the memory of Peter Suita Shitanda, I really wanted uh, Bishop Margaret to be uh, the senator. Last but not least, under repetition, is that uh, just as the Bible tells us, let seize, let yes, ya kaisare ni ya kaisare, ya imungu ni ya mungu. Uh, let us not invoke go God's name wrongly by saying that uh, Kenya kwanza muna bumuwa nyumba yangu na in heaven there is a God. If true, if true that uh, the, the, the Kenya really wanted a, a, a way to pass to, to on Weruga Street, Weruga Lane, or if Kenya Railways owns the plot or whatever the situation is, let it be the way it is written in the books. Let us not have preachers invoking the name. Uh, our God is not blind. He knows everything. And it is good for the preachers to follow what God wants. 
Amen.